No shielded enemies yet, surprisingly enough. I am actually kind of surprised by that. Oh, there are the shielded enemies. I spoke too soon. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of TD Worlds. Uh, last episode, we didn't quite do so hot. This time, we're hoping to do uh, slightly better. Uh, once again, if you want to join in the madness, please subscribe, show some love, leave a like. It's a small action for you, but it helps out small YouTubers a lot. Um, it kind of helps guide content and makes us feel pretty good. Um, right before I hit, right before I started to record, my uh, my mic stand broke, and right now I'm kind of holding my microphone up on my mic stand with nothing more than the will of God Himself and Scotch tape. And for the time being. Uh, it's holding. I've actually got a new uh, desktop mic stand coming and, uh, and a new holder for my microphone, so I'm kind of stoked about that. Uh, researches. So that should be increased fire damage by 5%. Great. Uh, we're going to kill a whole bunch more shield enemies. That seems pretty good. And the armory, what should we go with today? I, I don't feel like I can go for tower shots dealing... Crit, because I don't think I can take that 7%. Freezing enemies and burning isn't all that good. What about explode on death? Reduces tower damage by 30. We're going to try explode on death here for this one. Uh, okay, and... Uh... I've got my researches. There's nothing in the shop for me. I took off my Santa hat. Let's go! Brand new run. Uh, and I am kind of... And uh, I was reading reading through the achievements of this game. And there is a way... There is something that we can get further along. That we can get at some point. I don't know when that point is. Where we can, like, re-roll our rewards at the end of a... Uh, so if we get, like, tower upgrades we can re-roll what those tower upgrades are, or might even be able to re-roll our rewards. I'm not sure. Go, okay, we're gonna go. We are go. I don't like that spot. I'm gonna grab you. Spot's not great, but I think it's the best we're gonna get, and I'm gonna grab uh, this spot. Oh, yeah, we can kind of see the little bit of an explosion going on here. Interesting. So hopefully we'll be able to chain that somehow in, in the future. But I was reading through the reviews on Steam, and, you know, I, I wasn't really giving it much credence or much thought, but a run is very, very RNG-based. Uh, ooh, we might be in trouble, actually. Nope, we might have just saved ourselves there with that one tower damage. Oh yeah, we might be in trouble here. Oh man. Okay, this is already not up to a good start. Thank God it's a tower upgrade. Um, cost, shield damage. At this point, I will take any damage that we can get. And hell yeah, another tower upgrade. Uh, this so far does not bode well for our run that we've already taken that kind of damage on level one. So I guess the explosion doesn't really matter unless the, uh, the enemies are close together. Definitely worrisome. Oh yeah, this is definitely a hell of a lot of not good. Yeah, I'm not feeling too good about this run. Not gonna lie. But it might not matter if they're grouped up like this and we can kind of chain damage a little bit. I, I still stand by that chain damage is the best damage, even though it's going to kill us on shields. But we can do, but we are doing additional damage to shields, uh, 3%. So 
maybe it's not so bad, but... Oh, that does decent-ish damage, but I still think these guys are gonna get there and... are still gonna get to our tower and hit, them, hit it like a truck. Or get to our crystal and hit it like a truck. Oh, let's... Okay. So my initial thoughts so far about this area of effect damage, or that generally these the upgrades that you can get at the start of a run, is that the negatives on most of them... Firepower and fire rate. Uh, firepower, because I think that's more damage. Yeah. I think the negatives are too strong on... Or just too strong. Uh, you know... Maybe kind of cut the negatives in half. 30% is a lot of... At least, especially this one, the 30% uh, less damage. That's a lot. Maybe, I don't know, cut the negatives in half on some of them? Or, like, rebalance the negatives? Like it, It's kind of nuts, actually. Oh. Kind of chain, chaining damage there. Maybe we're not doomed, per se? Yeah, we kind of killed two there. Maybe this is only good in, like, big, large groups. Yeah, like, it's doing okay over here. Maybe the explode is good as like a secondary thing. Maybe it's not the first super damage thing you take, but maybe it's like the second one you take. Uh, projectile speed could be useful. Fire rate. Projectile speed plus 19%. So when it fires off, it gets to where it's going faster. I can get behind that. And I'm gonna take one more tower upgrade. We, thank goodness I took one more tower upgrade. And I'm still... No shielded enemies yet, surprisingly enough. I am actually kind of surprised by that. To tell you the truth. I'm, I'm thankful for it, because I think we're only doing 9% additional damage to shields. Oh, there are the shielded enemies. I spoke too soon. Oh! Okay. So that legendary upgrade on, uh, that legendary upgrade we got for the additional damage is already starting to uh, pay off. Ooh. More projectile speed or more sh I'm going shield damage. So we've only got 40. 42. So this shop is not worth it. You want to go to a shop with at least 150 of these uh, essence. So we're going to go for another tower upgrade here. Um, where are they coming from first? Okay, they're coming from there first. They're coming from both sides first. Okay. Fantastic. I need more. One more. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Ooh, crap. Damn it. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, we kind of got. Damn it. Don't know what I could have done differently on that run. And unfortunately, I didn't really get any towers. When could I pick towers? What? This is new. So I can pick a different tower to go with me. All right, what do we got? Um, this is new. Sniper tower. Plus 50 damage, plus 75 power, minus 50% fire rate. 
or fire rate less power. Oh, this is awesome. When did this become a thing? Is there a... Is this... Did, like, research guy... Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I need to... Uh, let's take a new tower. Standard, reliable, handy, and any... Sniper tower, more radius, more firepower, less fire rate. Uh, more fire rate, less firepower. Uh, fire rate, firepower, but lower projectile speed. Let's try a machine gun. And unfortunately, we don't have any of these essence, so we're kind of... Shoot, another thing to add into the mix. Fantastic. Okay, I'm kind of stoked to try this out. So, we need to be prioritizing upgrades to damage right away. Because we're going to be dealing a lot less of it now. Minus 50. I thought the... I thought the explosion thing was bad. This could very well kill us. And still only take one. I'm kind of excited to see how well this does. So we're definitely going to be prioritizing more firepower to, com over to compensate for our lack of it. And I'm still going to say... Oh, that, that was pretty good. That's not half bad. Well, I say that's not half bad, and now we're about to lose. You couldn't have killed one? Damn it. That's painful. But I lived, I guess. Projectile speed, firepower. Yes. Okay, let's be... Smarter about our placement here. Yeah, I'll place one there and there. Like, they deal pretty decent damage, but it's... On that one, we I think I just had my placement wrong. Replacements... I'm thinking that that slowing, uh, that slowing gun, the, can't think of the name of it now. Cost is good. Place more of them. Okay. 7% cost reduction, yeah. That's a good spot, this is a good spot, that's a good spot. All right, another turret. So let's throw one there. This would be another good spot for one, and so would right here. I think with just dealing less damage, I'm going to have to be smarter about my turret placement to maximize their coverage of the enemy's pathing. Or I could just take advantage of the fact that I can make these things super cheap with further upgrades and abuse that pretty badly, which I'm thinking I might do. Just make these uh, just make these turrets super cheap and haphazardly place more of them all over the place. Now shield guys. Oh, can't still can't place. They'll cut pretty close to here. This is like Kill Alley right here. Yeah. 
decent-ish damage. Oh, another one? Oof, we're gonna get down to the wire on this one. I had no idea about these other turrets, by the way. This is... Uh, we're flying pretty much blind here. Um, shield damage would be good. I'm going to take Radius on this one, so that they can cover more ground. Ooh, tower upgrade or more. I don't think these turrets are quite strong enough yet. Oh, sweet Christ, this level. I think they come from up here. Look at that range that they cover now. Kind of apprehensive to place more than this right now. Okay, here we go. Place you there. And one here. Need to get 97. Okay, we got some coming up over here now. Oh, I need to get to 93 to place. Okay, uh, let's place here. So I can cover both paths, kind of. Do have some leakage. Picking up most of them. Shoot. This might end us here. Or we might be okay. Radius or shield damage? I have a feeling if I don't take the shield damage, that will come back to bite me. We got 66. It's not great, but... Oh. Damn it. Useless. Useless shop. I should have just taken the other, the extra mat. I should have just done the extra tower upgrade. Super upset that I went to that shop. That might have borked the run pretty bad. Honestly, I think the... Oh, I'm really glad I took that uh, extra shield damage now. Actually, getting through the shield's pretty good. Uh, 10%. Ooh, I think this is the end of the run right here. Yep, that's it. Ah, drat. Alright, we'll try one more. We'll try one more. And honestly, uh, so the machine guns were okay. Oh, let's, uh... A little bit more research. I'm gonna try the... So my projectile speed will be slower, but I'll have more fire rate and more firepower. <sighs> I don't know here. Sniper could be the play. More damage. A lot more damage. So mathematically speaking, this has a benefit of 50 and a 75% for only a minus 50%. Plus a 60 for a minus 50, and minus a 60 for a plus 50, basically. We'll try Sniper this time, I guess. See how far, we'll see how far Sniper gets us. Uh, because it has a larger range, that could just be what saves us. So we'll try one more run, and we'll kind of see where that gets us. Because this recording is already at the 19 minute mark. 
but fortunately the tape on my microphone is holding. Let's see, wow, that range. Let's do one right here and right here. I'm really curious to see how well this does. And I might just step into range entirely. Ooh, we might be in trouble, actually. Okay, I'm back to being worried now. This isn't exactly the overwhelming damage I was hoping for. Oh, man. Actually, the range on these things is so long. They're the the uh, the tack of the geometry is uh, in their radius for an ex very extended period of time. Projectile speed, firepower, cost, firepower, cost. Projectile speed, cost. Here, here, um, here, and here. I mean, the fire rate sucks, but it, I guess it's not terrible. Terrible? I'd still like to see it improved. Uh, hopefully we get a tower upgrade for that, but it's not, it's overcomable. Stop the leaking. Stopping the damage. Sniper rounds are actually handling pretty... So I think the, com the damage combined with the range that they can fire in kind of makes up, I think, pretty well for the lack of fire rate. And it seems like when we upgrade fire rates, it's usually pretty big numbers we're upgrading by. So maybe combining, I don't know. Like we got a pretty, maybe combining the fire rate with a slow? That's not very good. Shield damage, fire rate, perfect. A little bit of fire rate. This level worries me because we know that eventually there will be small enemies uh, coming in. Ooh, my towers only cost 94. Hell yeah. Kill one more. Thank you. Okay, I'm back to being worried again. Get him, get him. We're still getting them got, but it's it's getting it's a little too close for comfort. These guys not able to quite one-shot the little guys is a little worrying. These guys aren't, but I do have improved fire power. So maybe combining with like a chain lightning at some point. Projectile speed, projectile cost, firepower. Yeah, let's do a big old firepower. This level. Um, that and that. That and that. And maybe one here. What is my total firepower right now? Uh, 20 plus... I'm doing 95% damage. Plus 95% damage. That's nothing to... That's nothing to sneeze at. I still really wish the 
machine gun were to work out. I think with the chain lightning, the machine gun would be devastating. But I think this is where we die. Yep, this is where we die. Damn it. Huh. Shoot. We weren't quite able to murder the... Uh, the little guys in a single hit, and I think that's what murdered us. Oh, I got a... I got a free upgrade from this guy. You can now speed up time while playing. Great, so... Oh, I remember this. Um, it basically, you can hit, like, the space bar and the level moves faster. Neat. Um, anything we can buy at the shop? That'd be kind of nice. Extra shards on hit. Oh, did you know that awards of different qualities have different growth potential? The higher the quality, the greater increase with each improvement of the level reward. Oh, so the legend... Okay, so the legendaries do increase more than the commons rewards do. That makes sense. Man, I'm kind of bummed we couldn't, like, seal the deal on any of these runs. But you know what? Meta progress. That's what it's about. Making meta progress. But, uh, you know, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll give her the old college try again. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.